wake up, wake up, wake up. It's me, Shan. Look at this this plant over here just growing. Just enjoying the sun. Not too much, not too little. That's one thing about um, having healthy plants is learning how they like to receive light. Listen to that, Jim. Learning how plants like to receive light can save a plant's life. Can save a life, okay? Learn how people like to receive wisdom, encouragement, love, and they'll last longer. The um, time you share will be better and how they glow up will be better. Today I want to talk about investing in the truth because the last thing we want to do in life is use lies as blankets of hope that's not coming. Hope that's not coming. Like how your great grandmama be like, you know, today's our, we're living in our last days. That was in 96. My grandma was talking about living in our last days when I was in year of 96. Okay. 96 compared to now, I'll take it. Okay. And people who aren't ready for honesty will never give it the respect it's, that is deserved. They don't. They don't respect honesty because they live in the comfort of lies too much. And in order to respect the truth, you have to be willing to lose in order to gain what you need. Sometimes that includes people. Be willing to lose people that you were once comfortable with and now you grew in a way where you're no longer comfortable with that mindset anymore. Moving with true intuition isn't stressful when you're being honest. And when it comes to growth, you got to get to a point where you can honestly say, you know what? I messed up. This is how I messed up with this relationship. This is how I messed up this opportunity. This is how I could have done this better. It's taking accountability for what you could have done to possibly save that relationship that was so good that you missed or save that opportunity to go further in your career and it's taking you a little bit longer now because you didn't take advantage of a a situation that you had right and everyone isn't supposed to love your honesty but people who deserve to be around you should, should respect your honesty. We deserve the space to be authentic in who we are while having room to be who we are consistently and constantly trying to become. It's the most rewarding feeling to just be around a person. Know you don't have to lie to a person to keep them around. Know that they don't want to be lied to. And to understand that they respect you enough to not bring you bullshit. Let's get into episode three. Let's go. The older I get, the more I value honesty in a way where I would rather have honesty and be solo than to be around a lot of different energies and people just being phony to look away or save face, right? And to invest in your truth is going to look like you're losing but you're actually gaining, right? You can make your life easier by telling the truth. People rarely bring bullshit to people who are direct. Direct is not you being mean. Direct is you cutting through the finessing, the phoniness, the assumptions, right? And not everybody is ready for that, so they do take that as you being mean. Or you could be a little bit nicer. You can say that a little bit different. No the fuck, I can't. Because if I say it in a way where they think they have a choice 
to be respectful or disrespectful, then I'm basically laying out a red carpet for you to disrespect me. So I like to be direct with people. Play with your mama, okay? Friends, business, and romantic relationships that are valued get better when you get honest. And if your friends and your business and your romantic relationships get worse, with you being more honest, then that wasn't a relationship you were supposed to keep anyway. This one guy was talking about how the two women that he liked and he wanted um, basically put him in the friend zone. And he's, he was basically saying in a way, well, that's what I get for being honest. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You just basically saved your time, saved your effort, possibly saved your money because you're a man and women out here expect men to pay for everything by not pursuing these women that told you by putting you in the friend zone that they don't like you or they don't want you or what you want with them, they don't want. That's why I'm just like, why are men or women scared of honesty Are you scared of reality? Because the reality is if somebody don't want you, there's nothing you can buy them, um, love them more or, or, or fix them to want you. They just don't. And wanting someone and loving someone is two different things. Because I could love a lot of people and not want them in a romantic way. Or I could love a lot of people and not be able to handle them as my friend. Okay? They may be able to handle me as their friend. But I may not be able to handle them as my friend because they come with too much shit. They come with shit that interferes with my peace. And that is something that I'm not about to, you know, trade. This is not a trade-off. Personally, I feel like out of the, you know, people who call you out the blue or ask opinions um, from you that are valued, that's like flattery to me because I know that they really value my opinion because they call me out the blue. This is not somebody that just calls me because they're bored. They got this particular thing that's very important to them and they value my opinion so much that they called me out of anybody else that they could call for my honest opinion and too many people trying to be IG ready in real life and not be them themselves you got to be yourself in a comfortable way in real life like the filters are not out here in real life So I personally avoid being in the position to hurt others by always telling the truth. There is nothing that you can be like, well, last week you said this and now this week you changed it. Or, you know, to this person you said this and now when I confront you, it's something different. No, the same thing that I'm going to tell you to your face, I'm going to tell a person without you in the room. Because that's how I rock. If I don't fuck with you on Monday, I definitely don't fuck with you on Wednesday or Friday or even Sunday. Whatever day you claim as the Sabbath, because I know Jehovah Witness claim Saturday as the Sabbath. I listen, okay? You ain't never gonna get mixed vibes from me. You're not. I don't care what people tell you about Gemini's. The only way you'll have a shitty side of me or deal with me in a damn she me manner is if you fucked up. And now I got to give you the results of you fucking up. But there is always a reason for my reaction. Always. Okay? So be consistent with yourself about what your truth is. And don't say yes when it's a no. You know when it's a no. When you see people walking up to you, you don't even want to fucking be bothered. Anything that they say out your mouth, out their mouth as a favor, or can you do this, or 
run me up here real quick. No, it was a no before you walked over here. Every time you be with me somewhere, it's some shit. That's clues that a person has a bad aura. Maybe they did something in their past where karma is following that ass. And anytime you associate associate with them, it's rubbing off on your shit. And maybe your creator is showing you all the times when you're not with this person, look how many opportunities come your way. Every time that you with this person, look how far you backtrack. And y'all so stuck on, oh, but that's my boy from around the way, or that's my homegirl, or she just needs some help. She probably need help. He probably need help. But who the fuck told you you was the one to do the shit? Who told you you was on um, Baywatch and you the lifeguard for their bullshit? Okay? Be in your truth. Be okay investing in your truth. And people like that need to be told, no, I'm not taking you nowhere. You better walk because every time I deal with you, I'm in some fucked up position. I got to pay more money for shit that I wasn't supposed to pay in the first place because I wasn't supposed to be there. I was doing a favor for you. People come into your life when you moving in the right direction for your life and they bring about good opportunities. People who are not supposed to be in your life, when you're on a path of where you need to be, take you off of that path where you need to be. It's not hard. Life is not hard. You just hard headed. Okay? People need to show more integrity. And when more integrity is shown in practice, shown, shown in practice, today it could be the cure for a lot of bullshit if you say something and you say you're gonna do something keep your word keep your word by saying no when you need to say no don't promise nobody shit if it's on some I need to do my best to be there or I'm gonna do my best to show up or come through then I'm going to do my best explain to your children Maybe after work, maybe tomorrow, maybe it's not a yes. And maybe it's not a no. Maybe it's a possibility depending on other shit that I got to do. Because a lot of men and women believe maybes are yeses. Please pay attention to who is lingering around you. And funking up your aura. Okay? Shout out to KD. Protect your energy at all times. Meaning, if you're out in a group setting and somebody's vibe is off and you could feel somebody staring at you or, or giving you hate vibes or negativity or, or, or um, making shots. Or being extra or calling negative attention around you, move around. Don't stay. Don't uh, make that negative energy back. This is real miserable people out here that don't give a fuck about them and don't give a fuck about who around them. And a lot of people be having these people around their kids, around their parents. Around their uh, their jobs, their possible opportunities to be better, and these are miserable people. They not happy unless something good is happening for them only. The way that they get off, they get off by things only happening for them, and nobody else gets anything good from that. Just them. Stay away from those people. Invest in your truth by always telling the truth and being honest with yourself. Listen to that gut. If that gut tells you, stay your ass in the house, stay in the house. If that gut tells you that concert ain't it, 
that consternate it. You ever um, was going to go somewhere and then you ended up not going because you just didn't feel right about it. And then the next morning somebody called you and told you some bullshit went down and you was just happy you was in there. The creator works just like that. Okay. He, he or she or whatever that power is always gives you an option to believe and trust in yourself to make the right decision. And we all know what the right decisions are when we are in the moment of making those decisions. A lot of us sway to the left or we sway to the right. That ego and that pride will make you sway in ways you're not supposed to sway. I just want to do thank you guys for checking out She Gets It podcast. This podcast wouldn't be nothing if I wasn't getting listeners, okay? So I appreciate you. If you're looking for ways to support She Gets It pod, you can always get you some merch from She Gets It shop with Teespring. Drop ship delivered right to you. Or you can donate directly to Red Circle, which is my podcast platform that provides you all of my podcasts. And you could donate to Red Circle Where does the money go? The money goes to, you know, supporting the ideas that come with podcasting for me, equipment, and, you know, where I can get more merch ideas for the podcast to make the next seasons to come better. All right. I am a creative, but I do work a nine to five, but I am a creative and I do pour into what I do, what I come up with and how I give you guys content constantly. Greg knows this. All of the pod fam knows this. Baylor, Gigi, Drake. Like, what is Shan doing? She's probably recording or she's probably coming up with an episode or she's probably doing merch. So I appreciate you guys. Um, everything goes somewhere to support something I am doing. And don't forget to check me out at shanbpodden.com. Now back to the show. <laughs> Sometimes people's money make them feel like they're above the bullshit or above the cons that can happen because they got money. Or ain't nobody going to try me like that. They know who I am. A lot of people don't give a fuck who you are. A lot of people will try you just because you think you somebody. A lot of people won't try you, but they're going to try the thing closest to you that you love and you care about. That's why my ass could not be talking to no drug dealer. My ass could not be a part of no mob family. I could not have no child with somebody that do other people dirty in the street. Are you crazy? Like, it should be a known thing. If you are a man or a woman... And you want to sell drugs and you want to do people dirty in the street. They're going to come find your mother, your sister, your brother, your grandmother, your father, your kids, your kids' kids. You don't live like that and got people and in, 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 in things that you love. That shit is all fast and temporary. Fast as it come, fast as it go. It's a lot of stupid women out here in love with the lifestyle that comes with people doing illegal shit. And I'm not hating on anybody doing illegal shit, but it has to come to a point where you have to cross over. You got to stop that illegal shit, leave it for a young idiots, and wash that money in a legit business that's on the up and up. Now, this is not me trying to tell you how to live illegally. (laughs) Disclosure. This is not Shan trying to tell you how to live illegally. But common sense. Like how many many documentaries we going to watch where people should have got out and their ego made them stay in? That pride. How many? And then we be mad. Out the, at the outcome that we knew was coming. How many yes men you need around you to know that you, you've been on some bullshit? How many wrongs before you do right? 
because y'all be really act out here acting like y'all got nine lives. It's better to have some real, true people with you that will tell you legit, A, hey, you was doing good, but now you fucking up. I can't be around you because you fucking up. We boys and everything. You got kids and I got kids, but you ain't been around to see your kids in a very long time. And I feel that's disrespectful for you to come around here and hang out with us. And you know how we get down about our family and you over here bullshit. That's not a good look. I've been telling you girl about them nasty ass cigarettes and all of that shit that you be doing. And you got kids. You can't have your babies around that. That's not cool with me. You ain't got no sitter. And you just think you just about to watch. Leave TV on for your kids. So you could go out and party. In a house by themselves. That shit is not cool. You not riding with me nowhere. Stay home. And take care of your kids. And if you gonna leave and go to this party. You not riding with me. It takes. People like that to make differences for other people. And we got too many people that's willing to watch some shit go down and turn around and call themselves a friend of the person that's in violation. Invest in some truth. And the truth is you fucking up. You been fucking up. You know you was fucking up. And you don't need nobody else to tell you that you fucking up. Be honest and be like, I don't care that I'm fucking up. This is what I want to do. I don't want to worry about what's really going to happen. This is what I want to do. And own that shit. Grown people that leave their kids in the car and shit happens, own that shit. People that take their kids to a pool... And just bullshit around and don't pay attention. And shit happens. Own that shit. You drinking and you leaving somewhere. And you driving home or driving to wherever. And you got other people in the car. And and some shit happens. And all their families turn around and sue you. For thousands of dollars. And you grieving. And you looking at doing time. Own that shit. I could be doing, I, I think about this a lot of time, not, not to be dark, but I could be doing so great in life, so good as a woman, as a mother, as a creator, have all my ducks in a row, and I just need to go to the store to find something to cook to feed my family, and it, I, I could lose my life and my kids could lose their lives because of somebody else thinking... Oh, I should be fine to get from here to the house without any accidents. And they've been drinking all day. Just that quick. So life cannot be all about you. There has to be an overall level of integrity that everybody carries. And the truth is everybody is not going to have integrity. But if you can limit the outcomes to deal with people whose integrity might be questioned, I'm not going to try to go get gas at 1130 at night. I'm not going to try to go get food late at night when people will possibly be drinking. my my, My idea of a good time is not going downtown in Atlanta on a, on a week, on a weekend late night to go get something at my favorite restaurant with my kids in the car. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself in a situation where I'm at risk to deal with some dumb shit from somebody else's end, not me. Life is just full of a lot of shitty outcomes because of other people's shit. But me living in my truth would be a, I'm an individual. Yes, I have needs, but I also have a priority to make sure I'm making the best decisions for myself and my family. And sometimes that is me not being in the mix because I got other people depending on me to be good, to be healthy, to be right, to make good financial decisions. 
to be around, to provide. Investing in your truth is investing in the fact that you working at a nine to five job is not going to cut it for the things that you say you want. So what are you currently doing that's adding on to that and providing you possibilities to not need that nine to five? And the reality is a lot of us, probably like 70% of the population will complain day in and day out about their job and how they hate their job, but they will go to that bitch for 15 years, 30 years and be miserable and not do shit about it. But I'm very proud of the generations coming up right now because they're not looking at jobs to be there for 30 years like their parents or 15 years like their parents. If that job is not providing them the lifestyle and the opportunities that they want, it ain't nothing for them to get up and get another one. Keeping a job for 30 years just so they can tell you when you're going to retire is not it for these generations coming up. And I'm happy that's where we're getting to because that's some bullshit. Nobody should be able to tell you when you can and you cannot retire. Who told you everybody's lifestyle and outcome and result needs to be the same? Not all change is bad, but it's a lot of people scared about change. And you cannot be scared about change trying to invest in your truth. Your truth might require you to do some shit first. Your truth might require you to um, be the only one that shows up. Your truth might require you to be able to balance other people having self-doubt. So get comfortable with your truth. Because what's required from you to get the things that you want might be completely different from what is right now. You might have to cut a new avenue on some new shit. I hope you guys enjoy your day. That's all I got for you. My name is Shan. This is She Gets It Podcast. Um, this whole season is about visualizing what you say you want, owning it, um, doing your self work on how to get it, uh, and just being transparent about it, not holding back shit. If you got to do work on you, do work on you. You ain't got to tell the world about it. You ain't got to tweet it. You don't got to TikTok it. You ain't got to put it on Instagram. Work on you. Be a silent, creative assassin. Do a silent glow up. If you want to lose weight and that's going to make you feel good about yourself and healthier, do that. If you want to look how you look, Look how you look, but own how you look. Don't make anybody make you feel bad about how you look. If you want to live where you live, live where you live. But own the fact that you're choosing to live where you live. There's pros and cons that comes with everything. But we ain't got to be everything to everybody. And we ain't got to be everywhere with everybody. Read and put yourself in places that what you used to ain't what's happening. I promise you, it's going to balance you out. Find me at Shambi Podden on everything in the social media world. On stereo, if she gets a pod. Find me at ShambiPodden.com. And don't be a stranger to my Patreon. I will catch you guys next episode. Peace.